<laughs> awesome, thanks. Hi, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we are going to make little chocolate dessert croissants. So I've got four mini croissants here. If you can't find minis, then use big ones, cut them in half, whatever. But I'm just going to have these and set them aside. Then I'm going to use about one cup of whipping cream. I have some powdered sugar for sweetening. I have some cocoa I'm going to add just for chocolate flavoring and color to the whipped cream. Some chocolate chips I'm going to melt so that it'll be a nice drizzle over the top. And all the way back here, I've put chocolate chips into the little grinder and made little chocolate chip pellets that I'm going to add to the whipped cream. So I'll get this whipped cream started and show you how we do it as we go along. I've got the stand mixer here, but you can use a hand mixer. You just want to start it on low, get your whipped cream going, follow your package instructions, and then just slowly add some sugar to your desired sweetness, some cocoa. Keep in mind that the cocoa is bitter, so it'll give you a nice chocolate flavor. And then at the end, I'm going to fold in the chocolate bits. So I'm just going to get this started to whip and uh, show you when I get some nice soft peaks going. So I'm just going to take a second and scrape the sides. I have a silicone spatula. I absolutely love them for scraping bowls. So this is good peaks in there. That'll hold it shaped nicely when we go to squirt it in these croissants. Turn that off. Tap that whipped cream out of there. So now at this point, I'm going to take some of these chocolate crumbles of those ground up chocolate chips, sprinkle that in. Ah, some got stuck. And at this point, you're going to want to warm up your chocolate chips in the microwave. 10 second intervals. Give it a stir in between until it's nice and smooth. And you're just going to fold, fold this chocolate in. You don't want to whip it really hard. You just want to stir it in gently. We're just going to let this sit while we get the chocolate melted. Be right back. Okay, so this is after a couple of sessions at 10 seconds each, probably about 30 seconds. I want a little bit more melty, uh, but this is a really good consistency right now. So I'm just going to set it aside. I'm going to finish off the absolute final touches of it melting when I'm ready to drizzle it on top. Okay, so we've done whipping the cream, we've added the chocolate. Chocolate's mostly melted. I'm going to cut the croissants open. Carefully you don't slice your hand. Don't go all the way through though. You just want them to be kind of flappy. I've definitely made too much whipped cream, so one cup will probably do um, six to eight mini croissants. Four to, four to five big ones. So 
So normally I use a piping bag, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to use a zipper bag. Turn the zipper so it's on the outside so you don't get it all mucky, just like you would a piping bag. And you're going to fill the bag up with your whip. Now I don't have a stabilizer in this whipped cream because we're going to eat it right away. So I zip that closed. Find a cleanish corner. Okay. And just sneak the end right off. Make sure it doesn't fall into your food. So now, if you just squish your whipped cream towards that hole, you've got a nice stream of whipped cream coming out. And you're not going to have it coming out the end. This is really easy for beginners, for kids to help with this. So I'm just going to gather it up in my hand so I have kind of an end to start squeezing from. And I'll hold it away from me. Okay, so holding it like that. It's going to open up your croissant, squeeze a circle all the way around, and then lap it over in the middle. Just like that. Looks beautiful. I guess I can make the croissant so it's easier to see. That one's going to be super squishy. These are not the neatest dessert to eat. You do get whipped cream on you. Try to eat it with a knife and fork. There's no dainty way of eating these. It's a dig in and enjoy the creamy goodness. So to finish it off, I'm just going to pinch it with the cream at the end and then just push it down with your fingers to the closed part of the bag. And you've got extra whipped cream to throw on top of your coffee. You can make some more later. And don't forget to taste it because it's really good. Yeah. I still think it needs another couple seconds. It's pretty gobby. You want it to kind of string off your spoon so that you can wiggle it back and forth and make a Nice little drizzle on your croissant. It's a good exercise in patience. <laughs> I burnt the last chocolate, so I had to do it again with what I had left over. Um, so yeah, it's not really quite at the consistency I'd like it for drizzling, but it'll do. So you just want to take it on your spoon until it's not like gobby or put a little on your spoon and just trace lines back and forth just have your spoon gently touch the top of it so it'll pull some of that chocolate off decorative stripes we're going to finish this off with a dusting of, um, of icing sugar, of powdered sugar Oh, those stripes aren't very neat at all. It's delicious. I'm going to smear this chocolate right on there. Now when I say we're going to dust it with uh, powdered sugar, it's my powdered sugar, 
same icing sugar I used in the whipped cream. Put a little bit into a strainer, sifter. Well, this isn't going so well. That's alright. You want to not put too, too much on because if you inhale while you're trying to eat this, you'll choke on the sugar. We've done it. And we know it, but we do it anyway. Mm -hmm. But it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. So there we go. Chocolate whipped cream filled dessert croissants. Absolutely marvelous. Nailed it. Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy.